Hi all, welcome to the another video on data handling using pandas. In this video, I will show you how to remove records in which certain columns are having unnecessary zeros in them. My name is Ratna Kishore. Welcome to Kash Channel. Let's start the topic now. This is our excel file in which we have total 7 columns and for easy understanding I have considered only 10 records in this excel file. If we clearly observe the last 3 columns SSCGPA, Interpercentage, BTEC CGPA, we have some zeros in them. Here this particular record is having 0 in the place of SSCGPA and this particular record is having zeros in both SSCGPA and Interpercentage. And uh, this particular record is having zeros in SSC CGPA as well as BTEC CGPA. Practically, this is not the case to have zeros in the place of either percentage or CGPA. So, these are some missing values filled with zeros. So, we need to remove all these three records now. For that, I am writing Python code with Pandas library. Let us open Jupyter Notebook. Here, the first thing is we need to import the Pandas. For that I am using the import statement. Now the pandas is imported with an alias pd. Now I will show step by step procedure to remove the records which are having zeros in the last three columns. And the first step is to read the excel file into a data frame. For that I am using df as data frame. And the function with pandas library read excel I am using to read the excel file into a data frame. And this is the path for the excel file. Since this windows path is having backslash that is escape character we need to consider this string as raw string that's why I have used r here. And then I am displaying the data frame df. Then we got the data frame with all 10 records and uh, 7 columns it is having. And then we need to get only the last 3 columns to check whether the corresponding records are having zeros in them. For that here I am using the columns attribute of this data frame and then I am selecting only the last three columns. Then if I run this cell then I got an index object where the required three column names are available as a list. Then here I am going to check a condition that is the data frame columns are is equal to zero. Then this particular statement displays the data frame with all these three columns where you can find it true in the place of zeros for that particular column and false otherwise. If you observe the first record in the data frame, so all the last three columns are having non-zero values, then we got false. And in the second record, you have zero in the place of SSC GPA. So that's why only at that place we got to true and in the remaining places we got false for that particular record. Similarly, in the last record, we have all non-zero values for those columns. Then we got false in all the three places. Here, I am using the any function. Then this any function returns true if any one of the columns in the record is having true. If all the values are having false, then it returns false. Then if I run this cell, then I got false for the first record because the first record is having false in all the three columns. And for the second record, we got to true out of this any function. Because in the second record, we have true in the place of SSC CGPA, then the any function returns true. In the same way, third record is having false here, because the third record is having false for all the three columns here. Then I am using this particular statement as the condition to get the records where we have zero in the place of these three columns. If I run this cell, then I got three records here. If you observe these three records, you can find some zeros in the place of these three columns. But actually, we need to get the columns which are not having zeros in the place of these three columns. Then we need to complement this entire condition. For that, I am using a tilde symbol here. If I run this cell, then we got all the records which are having non-zero values in the place of these three columns. So finally we got our result. Then I am using this particular statement as a single line to get the final result. 
and this is the single line statement by using the all the previous steps to get the records which are not having any zeros in the place of last three columns. And then I am displaying that df1 that is the resultant data frame after filtering. Then we got the df1 data frame where you cannot find any record with zero in the place of either SSC CGPA, enter percentage or BTEC CGPA because we have removed all the three records where we have zeros in the place of these three columns. So that's it guys. This is the end of this video. I will meet you with a new concept soon.